welcome back to Skincare with Ashley where I help you perfect your skincare needs every single one of you thank you so much for clicking on this video it means so much to me and if you're new to this channel well why not consider subscribing joining the family we can all just geek out on skincare together and hopefully by the end have perfect skin so today I'm going to be doing a review of this Neutrogena Seeker Repair Hand Mask so if you guys are interested in this product then stick around if at any point you do like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up but let's get started with it so first off let's just start by saying what exactly they say this product is going to do so they say that you should indulge your hands with the Neutrogena Seeker Repair Hand Mask to moisturise and restore dry skin from external aggressors clinically proven to help nourish and repair skin from first use and the mask acts as a comforting moisture bandage to intensely soothe and moisture your skin for up to 48 hours sounds really impressive so first off let's just start off with the ingredients before i actually put this mask on so it is called a seeker repair mask Seeker is actually Centella Asiatica or Tiger Grass. It's got lots of different names. Now I've actually looked at the ingredients. I can't actually find any Seeker in the ingredients, so that's a little bit strange. But nevertheless, it's got some fantastic ingredients anyway. So the first ingredient is water, and then the second ingredient is glycerin, so that's a humectant, so that's going to help lock that water into your skin. It's also got a number of fatty acids, absolutely fantastic for your skin. It's going to help moisturise your skin, it can help with your skin barrier. It's got petroleum, again going to help moisturise your skin. It's got oat extract, which has got skin soothing properties, fantastic for your skin. It's going to help when you've got a damaged skin barrier, it's just going to help soothe it, calm it down. It's got shea butter, which is a rich source of antioxidant. It's also going to help moisturise your skin. And it's got vitamin E as well. So overall, some fantastic ingredients. The ingredient list is relatively short as well. So overall, the majority of the ingredients are, or pretty much all the ingredients, are very beneficial for your skin. So I'm not that mad that it doesn't have seeker. Obviously, when it says it's a seeker repair mask, that's what you're expecting. So now it's time to try the mask. It does have four different steps. I'm just going to run through what they are. The first step, wash your hands and dry your hands. I did that just before I came on camera. The second step is to insert your hands into the gloves and then actually fasten it. I'm going to do that in a second. Leave it on for 10 minutes and then you take it off. No need to rinse, just rub it all in. So let's get this open and let's see how it performs. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so it's like plastic. They look very big, don't they? Oh right, there's a little thing here to fasten it. Okay. So you put your hands in like that you pull it across and you stick it there you go right so i've got the gloves on i'm going to leave it for about 10 minutes maybe a little bit longer and then when i'm going to take it off i'm going to come back and let you know what i think so see you guys in a little bit so I'm back, it's been over 10 minutes now, I'm about to take the mask off, so hopefully I like the end result. So let's just take it off and see what I think. If I can get it off, I might just rip it off. So I've got product on my hands, I'm just going to rub all this in. So my hands feel really nice, really soft, really hydrated. They do feel really nice and smooth. There's no fragrance in this product, so I think even if you've got sensitive skin, it's gonna be fine for you, fantastic ingredients. 
The only thing I don't like, obviously, is the fact that it says seeker, but there's no seeker in it. But I'm not overly mad about that because it feels really nice and soft and hydrated. And I only got it for £2. So I don't have dry skin myself. I don't have dry hands at the moment, so I can't say how you know moisturising it's going to be if you've got really dry hands. But if you've got really dry hands, I think this is a nice one to pick up. To use every now and then overall I'm really impressed I do like it I am going to use it again especially in winter time so that's it guys I know it's been a really short video but I hope you guys have enjoyed it absolutely enjoyed it myself if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you want to see further content and you're not subscribed click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything until next time all of you Keep looking after your skin.